Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Eric's Blind Play through the Dream Eaters. We're here for the search for Gadath. Min and Winifred are back. Um, they've licked their wounds and they're here in the Dreamlands in Ulthar to start things off. Eric, why don't you read our act and agendas and get things started. I'm gonna say a spoiler. I'm pretty sure it's a spoiler. Three seconds. Randolph Carter is obviously Nyarlathep in the dream world and we're dead. Which one? There's two. The, the waking one is the real one. Is he? Yes. Is he? He is. Journey across the Dreamlands. Despite the the advice of the Dreamlands inhabitants, you and your companions seek unknown Kadath where the gods dwell. If you are at a port location, resign. Venturing into the unknown has become too dangerous. You decided to return to safety with the information you've gathered. That's so smart. Kingdom of the Sky. Over fertile plains rolling down to the sky, he saw the smoke of cottage chimneys and every hand where the hedges and plowed fields and thatched roofs of a peaceful land. Objective at the end of the round, investigators at a port location may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. There's just one. There's just one. All right, so some special things for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a veiled mechanic, which you have seen before, but it's been a while. If there's no clues on a location with veiled, like these two locations, you can flip the location over and read the other side. You can only do that once unless stated otherwise. Other locations, so all the locations in this scenario are single-sided. Other locations may be flipped by other effects. So this one, when you attempt to leave the Sky River, test, if it's not yet been flipped, test Brain 2 or Foot 2. If you fail, flip this card over and resolve the effects. Once again, each t uh, you can only re resolve the backside once unless things stay otherwise. Okay. Uh, our starting location is a one shroud of an Ulthar, the land where no one can harm a cat. Uh, one shroud. Uh, this with the sky has some vunits here, which are just they have swarming one, one two one. Uh, while this host of pat, while the host has no attached swarm cards, it gets plus two fight and plus two evade. Holy cow! So it becomes stronger if we defeat the smaller versions of him. And this one, spend one resource. Shows the top six cards of your deck for an item asset and draw it. Shuffle your deck. That's a very interesting design because I don't feel it's particularly dangerous. No. You you just want to do four damage anyways. Yeah. Oh, but I get, I get that. That's four damage. That's actually a bit high on the. It is higher, yeah. Uh, and I mean, luckily for me too, I also have five foot, so like we can just I can just evade these guys. Yeah. Yeah, they only have one. Uh, notably, here's our port location. Mm -hmm. So this is the location we need to get to to advance the uh, the act, and we just need the four clues that are on the board. Okay. Yeah, and we can only connect to the Sky River, so we've got a boop boop. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Do you want to go first, or you want me to go first? I can go first. Sure. Why the heck not? I'm going to spend two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a lucky cigarette case. We love it. So for my second action, I'm going to investigate. Nice. It only has one shroud. I have three book, but I also can just go freaking crazy and commit this daredevil. So after committing daredevil skill test, I reveal cards to the top of my deck until I reveal a rogue skill I can commit to this test. I commit it and shuffle all their cards back in. But we're going a step further. We're gambling so much that I put three aces in my deck to make it, if I actually hit it, it's going to be great. So three aces is if I commit three uh, three copies of three aces to a skill test, I automatically succeed, draw three cards, and gain three resources. So I have three of them in my deck, but I'm going to gamble to see if I can ever just... Just draw into three aces? Yeah, I'm, I'm making it as hard as I can on myself just for fun. Anyways, I did commit two different uh, non-weakness cards, so I will draw a card with my ability. Uh, and then I'll investigate. We have five. I'll use your ability to go six, if that's cool with you. Go for it. Six to one. Am I a, am I a seeker? No. <laughs> I'm a rogue. Ah, Seven right. to one. I'm going to draw a card with the lucky cigarette case. Sick. Uh, and then I'll grab a clue. And I'm helping. You're so helping. Uh, I think for my last action, I'm just going to play a gun to shoot people with. And that's me. A clue. Yeah. That's a gun. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, I can I'm, use this to solve so many mysteries. Nice. Gonna fast out a magnifying glass. Fast out a magnifying glass. Uh, I'm gonna do a test. Nice. And I'm gonna add persistence to it. Nice. You're gonna use your ability to go to. I can't because you already used it. No, it's once per player. Oh, yeah, I will. Nice. So then you have seven to one because your magnifying glass gives you plus one while investigating. Minus two. If you fail, either take one damage, one horror, or place one doom on the current agenda. You got this. 
And you have two actions left, and you can flip that if you want. I want to. All right. Cryptic souls. As you walk down the streets of the town, a horde of cats slowly congregates around you, following you everywhere you go. Check the campaign log. If the cla- if the cats collected their tribute from the zoogs, read the following. One, one by second, one. Let me see. Oh. Let me just see. I'm pretty sure they did, but... They did. Um, they did. <clears throat> One by one, the cats demand a tribute in the form of physical affection. Despite the urgency of your task, they rub against your legs, <laughs> leap onto your lap, and do not leave until they are thoroughly adored. I lose all my remaining actions and end my turn. Best Arkham scenario. Okay, we gotta go upkeep then. Mm, that's a draw. All right, Interesting. one of seven. Why don't you start us off? Give me... Wondrous Lands, power. If there are no clues in your location, discard Wondrous Lands and it gains Surge. That's huge. Furtive Zoog, engage the investigator at your location with the lowest fist. Uh-oh, swarming one. Okay. Help. Help me. Sure, sure. Are they spiders or not? They're not. No. Um, oh, that's annoying. The first time I before one of the following each rounds, draw, resource, or play, it costs me an additional action. If I would discover, if I successfully investigate instead of discovering a clue, I can discard that. All right, you want me to deal with that? Yes. All right. Um. Okay. Yo, I think I'm gonna shoot this mf -er. We're gonna go five to three using my foot. Sorry, one second. If I grab him, engage him, if I pass the test, I can move and engage down there. That's not terrible. I could probably do it. Sure, yeah. I think I want to save my bullets for something that's scarier than this. Yeah, that's fair. So we're going to engage this guy. I'm going to try to evade him. I'm going to commit a quick thinking and an opportunist. So I'm going to draw a card because I committed two skills, with uh, two cards with two different names. Amazing. Um... So we have seven to one. If I succeed by two or more, I get I could have taken immediate action. If I succeed by three or more, this returns to my hand instead of discarding it. Am I am I getting a sense that your deck is all about committing two or more skills yes, to an action? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll use your ability too for this because I don't think I'm gonna take another test this turn. Rocket. I mean, if I fail this, that's bad. But let's just not. Yeah. Um. So I had five. Six, seven, eight, minus four is four. So you still got everything. I do both, yeah. So this is going to come back to my hand, and I'm going to take an immediate action as if it was my turn. So that means I have two actions left. Oh, I'm also going to draw a card with this Lucky Cigarette case. Come back to me, child. Ooh. Uh, I'll move in here for that free action. Uh, and then I will attempt to evade these Vunits. Vunits. Um... I think I'm just going to go five to one. I could try to force it, but I'm not going to. And this guy doesn't have Hunter, so we can just leave that Zoog here. Yeah. You're evaded. Nice. Okay. And I've cleared a path for you to do what you want to do. Oh, well, and what I want to do is I, I want to go. stay here and fight the Zoog. <laughs> one? Yeah. And then let's see. Brain two. That's probably the one I'm doing. Nice. So you're going to attempt to leave? Yeah. Good luck. So you're four to two? Mm-hmm. Four to two, and then I'll go five to two, six to two. Nice. And that puts me above the worst in the bag, I think. Yep. It does, beautiful. By a significant amount. You're gonna move in here, and you have one action left. Um. Let's see. Three. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna investigate. Okay. So you have five to three. Pretty comfortable. Yeah. It does beat the minus two, the scariest token in here, because it has a chance of hurting you or putting doom on there. Yeah, which is why, just in case. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't hurt to hedge your bets a bit. Minus X for number sign of the gods, which have been covered zero. So yeah. you succeed and you get a clue. Rats. Like not a bad thing. Yeah, you pass the test. Yeah, but didn't get that extra value. All right, upkeep. I was really banking on getting that minus four. I don't know why. It could happen. It could happen to you. All right, two to seven. What do you got? 
Wonders lands. Ah, shoot. That's really annoying. Yeah. So it gets minus two shroud, and after you successfully investigate attached location, take one horror, place one doom on the current agenda, and this effect can cause it to advance. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. I mean... Uh, I'm going to say fist bad for this Whispers of Hypnos, so we get minus two to fist until the end of the round. Sounds good to me. Uh, I'll go first, if that's cool. Rock it. I'll try to evade this guy at five to one. We succeed. Yeah, wow, though. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit close, but that's okay. We're going to try to leave. Uh, I have five to two. I'm going to commit an opportunist and a manual dexterity to we put me that. at um, eight to two. But I'll draw a card off of my ability. So eight to two. Nice. I'm going to draw a card with the lucky cigarette case and return this opportunist to my hand. Nice. Look at this system. Look at this machine you've built out of it's... only two parts. One part. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it is a very different situation when um, Winifred has Lucky Cigarette Case or not. Yeah. So I can't draw, resource, or play, which means I might as well investigate. <coughs> Go for it. Um, you don't have any way to cheat a clue, right? Um, no, I can just brute force it. Okay. Uh, yeah, then we'll investigate. Uh, I'm going to commit this uh, opportunist to put me to five using your ability. Sure. And this three aces, we're going to go six to one. I'm good. Yeah, Thanks. you're good. Six to one's huge. Yeah. Going to commit that other three aces. Six to one? Yeah, this reduces the shroud by two. Oh, right. Makes it easier to find. I thought but I added the shroud and gave the negative. Uh, so I have four. So I get to return this opportunist to my hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I also wanted to draw a card. I did commit two. Did I do that? No. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, this opportunist comes back to my hand. We'll get the clue. Look at that, we each got two clues. We're a team. Rocked it. Uh, I'm gonna take a horror. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to... Added oh, damage. no, sorry, I actually don't get the clue. I don't. I actually just have to discard this instead. This is forced. Oh, there we which go. Which is good, which is actually honestly great. Yeah, that works for us. So that clue's still here. You can still get it. The shroud's still one. Nice. That's actually honestly better. Yeah. All right, we're not a team. I, I suck. You're great. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's my two favorite assets when I'm a seeker. <laughs> just two magnifying glasses, and I can do anything I want. It's like one, one. but what if I put another one? And it's like, this is actually yeah. worse. I mean, I, I ain't even joking. You give me two magnifying glasses, and I'll, my, I don't care what anything else I have is. I'll win the game. I'll do it. Yeah, just that's give fair. me two magnifying glasses, that's all I need. Let's go! All right, you take the horror. I will. <sighs> that was uh, my first action. Uh, second action, I'm gonna draw a card. Nice. Ooh, sick. Unfortunately, you're here. <laughs> oh, you just take up an ally slot. <clears throat> oh, fair. Final Angry action. Enough. Nice. Oh, have to, no. have to reveal location or put a location into play. Okay, so... I'm afraid. Oh yeah, for your... your... This happened last time. Uh, in all fairness, I actually don't think you put a lot of new locations into play in this scenario, or reveal locations. So she might never trigger. We're she okay might just with that. be soak until you find a asset, uh, until you find a tome. Uh, so at the end of the round, do you want to advance at the end of the round? Oh no, I... do you want to flip this location? It's veiled. Oh yeah, let's flip it. Go for it. Wait. Okay. In the port city of Dilith Lean, you consult with the elders of the city. They believe that the truth of Kadath was hidden for a reason. They call you a fool for searching it. Even so, they tell you what little they know of the Forsaken Peak. And Ralph was like, don't listen to them. It's great. It's great. Um, though you are uh, far from finding Kadath, it is clear now that this cannot be in this region. We'll need to find a ship, Captain, Randolph muses. The journey will be much longer still. The Isle of Oriab lies to the south, and I have heard of a great mountain there. To the west lies the ancient lands of Manar, where many secrets lie hidden. To the east is the timeless realm ruled by the wise King Curanus. North of there is a forbidden land where none dare twed. 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 No, twed's twed. great. Twed's great. Um, you have uncovered a sign of the gods. Place one resource on the scenario reference card to indicate this. For the remainder of the scenario, resources on the scenario reference card represent 
Signs of the Gods and invest that it, investigators have uncovered. Oh my goodness, that sentence law. I got lost. I lost God. That <laughs> sentence. Yeah, the Tweds got you all. The Tweds destroyed yeah. me. Your quest is to uncover as many of these signs as you can in order to discern the location of Kadath. Flip this card back over. Nice. Cool. Uh, also, you found a Signs of the Gods, so Virgil Gray triggers. Oh, Virgil. I'm going to give this to you, and I'm going to draw a card. Nice. Okay. Um, upkeep. Oh, no. So much dead draw. Good thing I've got two magnifying glass. That's all you need. All right, Eric. Uh, do you want to advance this at the end of the round? I think so. Spend our clues. Go for it. You find a captain willing to grant you passage to the remote region of the Dreamlands, wherein you may find signs from the gods to point you in the direction of Kadath. Search the encounter deck, discard pile, and play card areas for Cats of Ulthar, each pack of Vuniths, and each card from the Zoog's encounter set and, set and remove them. Shuffle each set-aside copy of Priest of a Thousand Masks. No! <laughs> Into the encounter deck, along with the encounter discard pile. The investigators must decide. Choose one. Visit the Isle of Uriab. Visit the ancient land of Manar. Visit the forbidden lands to the north. Um, visit a kingdom of the timeless realm to the east. Okay. <clears throat> so, I read the book. I read the book. All right. I read it. You got some, you got some insight? Which is why... We've got two cards, seven and nine. Yep. So we got lots of time. I say we don't go in the direct path. You want to beat around the bush, so I'm, to speak? We're going to beat around the bush. Okay, these guys are removed. So we're not going to the Forbidden Land to the north. Okay. So we're not doing the Forbidden Land yet. We're not. So then that leaves Oriab, Minar, and the Timeless Realm. The Timeless Realm is also out, because that's also one of the next steps in the story. So we're doing Oriab or Manar. All right. Two great locations, two great lives. Uh, you know what? Yeah. There's a big mountain in Oriab, they said. Yeah. You want to do Oriab? Let's check out Oriab. All right. Oriab it is. We go. Okay. Nyarlathep over here is Randolph Carter being like, are you fucking with me? The Isle of Oriab. Okay. Um... Not these ones. That's Manar. That's Forbidden City. Oria. Perfect. Okay. Hell yeah. Let's see some. Let's see some content. Okay. Let me just. I'm doing this for you. Set up. Oria. Set up. So we're each going to start in Baharna. Just veiled in victory one. You can read this too while I'm doing all this. To the south lies the small but thriving... Oh, chewing off my own lip. Give me a moment. To the south lies the small but thriving volcanic island of Oriab, dominated by the volcanic... Uh, by the dormant volcano called Nagarnik. The Bay of Baharna, marked by twin lighthouses, Thawn and Thal, overlook the southern sea. Find and uncover as many signs of the gods in this region as you can. At the end of each round, if each investigator is at the same port location, you may move to another region by advancing this act. If the investigators have uncovered ten signs of the gods, proceed to R1. So we have Mount Nagarnik down here. We love it. Uh, and then we also have the Nameless Runes. So these are all connected. It's a triangle for this one. Okay, okay. Uh, this one also is Swarming. So this is a Knight Rider, as they often are. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 225 with um, Evade uh, 225 with Swarming 1. Uh, while it has no attached Swarm cards, it gets minus 3 Evade, and after you evade it, you discard it. So that means that if you evade it, you get rid of all of its Swarm cards too. Holy cow. So that's what I'm going to be trying for sure. <laughs> At its strongest, you're just going to run in. Uh, notably, we have three Veiled locations is here as well. Um, this one, after you end your turn at Nameless Ruins, deal one direct damage to an, a an ally asset you control. So Virgil Grey, Sia, and Hell. Yep. Uh, we have Mount Nagranic, which is after you enter Mount Nagranic or discover one or more clues at it, if the investigators have not obtained supplies from Baharna, we test Fist or Foot 3. If we fail, we, end our, uh, we lose all remaining actions and end our turn. Oof. So we got to get some uh, supplies from Baharna. Yeah. But first we have to end the round. 
Uh, well, yeah, which is now done. We're now on the top of the round. Go for it. Boom. Uh, no, you should have already got that. Yeah, I did. You're right. And there's so much that happens, it feels like they're... Um, but yeah, go for your evil card. Prismatic Phenomenon. It goes into play in my threat area. Each round, it costs one additional action. If I, instead of discovering clues... Okay, well, that... The one that I just had. Yeah, my turn will be three turns of investigating on yeah. a two. <gasps> Secrets. What? Am I in danger? One second, I just have to follow some laws. Am I in danger? I just have to follow some laws. Good sentences. That's a little bit annoying. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start my turn. Are you gonna investigate three times? I'm gonna investigate three times. Oh, yeah. So we're going six to two. That's really good. That's all you need. See? I don't so get it. This goes away. Six to two again. Nice. Uh, Eric is Eric is learning the wonders of Book V Shroud. Yep. Or Batman V uh, uh, Batman V VVS. We call it Batman V Superman. That's the other thing we call it. That's great. That's my turn. Uh, would you like to flip that over? Yeah. The city of Baharna is a thriving and bustling harbor where you can find all manner of trade goods, provisions, and other wares. In the marketplace, you find supplies that may aid you in your expedition to lands farther south, as well as beasts of burden to carry your belongings. We love beasts of burden! What's beast your favorite beast of burden? of burden? Mine is the ox. Mine is, it's wide with a long, slender face like a crocodile. Yeah. <laughs> It has no name. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't know. It's, it's just the beast of burden. That's yeah. what it is. Mine's actually the same animal, but its name is Ox. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, no, that, yeah. That's the cool one. That's a cool one for sure. It should not surprise you that the most common of these animals are zebras. <laughs> zebras are very bad animals of burden. Not in Oriab. We can't ride them because not, we'd not, back, we'd break their backs. Not in Oriab. No, like not because of our weight. We just yeah, just because it's like a it, zebra. It's, we have spite. Yeah, it's just yeah, spite for the animal as a whole. We just hate it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> And thus we are stunned. You could spend days perusing the bazaar and still find oddities to spark your imagination. Truly, this is a land of wonders. Each investigator at Baharna may return an item or supply card from their discard pile to their hand. Remember that investigators have obtained supplies from Baharna. I, 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 supply. I, got, I got a gun that I discarded last turn. I got nothing. All right, so notably as well, when we leave a location, if there's no clues on victory locations, they get put into the victory display. Sorry. There was none in the last one, so that's why I didn't mention okay, it. Okay, we're great. My turn, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna discard a card with two or more icons on it, because I cannot commit a number, or the, with an even number of icons, because I can't commit things with odd numbers, which means that my entire deck was turned off by this card. Amazing. But luckily I had the sneak attack to help me through this. Bless. All right, I'm gonna move in here for my second action, and we're gonna try to kill these uh, Night Riders because we have obtained the supplies. I don't need, we don't need to do the test there anymore. Which is nice. All right, so I have five to five. I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna commit this unexpected urge to go seven to five. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna commit this three aces to go eight to five, and you know what? I'll commit this opportunist to go nine to five. Uh, sorry, yeah, nine to five. I'll draw a card with my ability. I'm self-centered. I'm not here to help you anymore. <laughs> nine to five. You dodged some bats, and you were like, "I'm out." Yeah. You're I like, you're like everybody I've ever tried to multiplayer with on Elden Ring. Woo! That's a little bit unfortunate. That's okay though. I had a plan for that, so I auto failed that, but that's okay. Enemy phase. This guy's gonna deal two horror to Virgil Gray. And then we'll go upkeep. Oh. Huh. All right. Five of seven. What do you got going on? Peril means I don't get to share it with you, right? Correct, yeah. Oh, well, unless it's hidden. If it's hidden, you can... You Fist. Can... Fist is bad? All Fist right. is bad. All right, we got Hunted by Corsairs. Attach Hunted by Corsairs to the current act. When the act advances, each investigator takes two damage. As an action, we can test Fist, uh, sorry, Book or Foot 4 to get rid of it. Sick. Those Corsairs look cool. Yeah, they do look pretty. That's because they look like demons, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm easy. <laughs> that's, I, don't, I, I don't blame you. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm a self-centered. I don't care what you do. 
Well, I still care about you. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna come in there. I'm gonna play Transmogrify. Oh, that's pretty sick. Actually, not gonna lie. So, uh, invade. Uh, so invade. So you're evading this guy at four to five. Yeah. Well, he. No, so you have to evade successfully, then you attach it to him. Okay. Did you want to save this for someone else? I think I got this guy. Okay, because yeah. I wanted you to get it. And that's sad. I mean, I could still do the book. You could try. I mean, uh, there's there there might be scarier enemies that we can worry about. I'm not yeah, too worried about yeah, this Knight Rider. Yeah. So I'm at three to six, so I want to go up by one. We'll just commit this witch in green. Yeah, I'm not using her. Do you your ability? Yeah, I do. Nice. So you are eight to three. No, I think I'll just go seven to three. Seven to three. Who needs it? Nice. And then I'm going to commit this persistence. Nice. And then I'll go up. So eight to three. Yeah. Nice. Two more clues for you. Would you like to read the veiled on this location? I think I would. Go for it. We're investigating. We're, we're investigating. This is the closest to us playing D and D together. Though. It is, yeah, it is. Yeah, we're on a D and D quest for sure. As you begin your perilous climb, you realize that you are not the only ones who dare to scale the mountain. Although woodsmen and lava gatherers, uh -huh, that's uh -huh. a job, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, explore its lower slopes. Few brave the cliffs higher up on the northern face, and certainly none along the southern face of the mountain, which cannot be seen from the city below. You eventually reach a valley of still lava, solid as rock. That's called rock. At the far end, a twisting narrow path ascends to the southern slope. When you reach the top, you find what you have been searching for. A face carved into the side of the mountains, hundreds of feet tall. The fi of feet tall. Oh, I cannot speak today. The face of one of the great ones, or so it is told. We have uncovered a sign of the gods. Place one resource on the scenario card. Sh shuffle one set-aside copy of... Tenebrous Night Gaunt into the encounter deck if able and flip this back over. I'm gonna heal Virgil Gray and send him back to you. Sick. Um, and that's you now, right? Yeah. That's you. That Moved was me. In, investigate, investigate. Moved in, was like, look, it's a big bird. And you were like, no. <laughs> oh, no, that's a regular side bird. It's regular. It was just really close to my face. Yeah. 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 As the Night Gaunt's like, what? Yeah, that would be good against the Night Gaunt's. Yes. Who are not on our side, apparently. No. All right, I'm going to shoot this motherfucker. I'm going to go five to two, but I'm going to commit this opportunist to go uh, plus two. Yep. Um, so we're going to go... And then also this uh, gun. I'm going to commit this gun. So that puts me at eight to two. It's true. If, there, if someone throws a gun at you while dodging, it's pretty hard to not... It is, yeah. Yeah. All right, give me not an autofail. That's great. That's oh, I'll draw a card with my ability, draw a card with a lucky cigarette case. Nice. Uh, this opportunist will come back to my hand, and this guy will lose that. Which goes into my discard, right? Uh, bottom of your deck. But you're allowed to look at it, because we have to... The rules state that you're allowed to look at it to see whose card it is. Even though we have sleeves, we technically can still look at it. That's really funny, but yeah. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> I don't want that bad luck. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I think we just try to evade this guy. And when you're in Winifred Havamuck, you don't live in fear. Wait, isn't he technically dead? No, because I killed his one of his swarms. His double, his double. I mean, I'm just going to go five to two. I have two shots of this. If I miss... Thank you, six to two. Seems great. And an analysis, so... No. Yeah. Don't worry. Committing cards I don't need to to test that you've already got. Yeah, I can't help you. I'll draw a card with my last action. Perfect. Okay, upkeep. Oh, right. So I'm just watching you do upkeep. What do I get rid of here? I think that... All right, six of seven. What's your evil card? Song of the Maga Bird. Curse. Attached to your location. Forced. After you move out of location, take one horror, place one doom on the current agenda, and discard Saga of Mata. This can cause the current agenda to advance. Test brain four to resist the call, or fist four to drive away the birds. Oh, the Make America Great Again birds. We hate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That would be very annoying. Hmm, okay. I'll need to get rid of that eventually. <laughs> uh, I could probably do that. Okay. Do you want me to just do some cleanup? Yeah. May everybody do your share? Yeah. All right. I'm a little worried about this. Yeah. Yeah, it's scary, but we're scarier. Yeah. And we need 10 of these? Uh, 10 of them, yes. I will say to give you some, I've never got 10 in this scenario. Okay. I think the most I ever got was eight. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah. We're just gonna die. Like if we get like five or six, that's a win. It's okay. like it's one of those things where it's like the better, like it, it gauges how good you do yeah. depending on what you yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you want me to get rid of this or do we just want to tank two? I think we just tank two. Cool. Do you want to get these clues or do you want to get out of here to see the other side of this? It's a this? five. I don't think it's worth it given mm. that we're about to flip this. Okay, so then we just get rid of Maga Bird. We move over here and we um, go to a new location. Yeah, and then Winton Green just gets hurt. Okay. Well, not just Winton Green. Shh. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a, uh, anything you can do better. Nice. So, uh, and this opportunist to do this Maga Bird. So I'm gonna do the fist because it is actually technically higher. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card with my ability. And then we're gonna do, so I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to the game's four. It's probably my only test I'm taking, so I will give uh, yours ability. Why not to go to 11? Go for it, yeah. Yeah, it's gone. I'll draw a card with this. Maga Bird. Nice. Okay, I have so many cards in my hand. I mean, that's not something I'm complaining about. I'm gonna move in here for my second action. And I mean, I might as well try this because I'm gonna have to discard cards otherwise. Yeah, I was about to say actually, and I, I was kind of thinking the same thing because it's gonna take a move and then we're still gonna have to do it. Yeah, well, I don't get this back to my hand. <laughs> that would be kind of insane. I do get the opportunist though. All right, it's a four. Uh, I'm gonna s commit this daredevil. I'm gonna commit this, I'll watch this and bet $3 on it. Nice. Um, so uh, you have to commit in batches, so that's why I'm waiting to see how this one resolves. I don't know if that's technically how it works, but that's how I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, okay. Let's reveal cards until we reveal a, a rogue skill that we can commit to this. Hatchet Man. He's here just for fun. All right, so I have one, two, three, four. So we have nine. I'll draw a card with my ability. <laughs> that was the like the most Justin does not know how to use fingers moment. Yeah, no, I'm wearing Justin's skin right now. Oh, yep. Uh, I don't get to return this to my hand because I have snow. I do. It's seven to four, so this opportunist does come back to my hand. It's so much better than when you take off your Justin skin, though. It's true. And I'm a hero. Look at that. I did it. Look at you did it. You saved us. Uh, but I also get six resources back. I immediately go here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go. I'm gonna go here. Four, five, six. And then I guess we'll do the action. Uh, it's just a, um, it just happens at the end of the round. We can oh, do okay. it. So you can take other actions. So I guess I'll gain a resource. If you want, you can also get rid of this if you did want, if we wanted to be friends. Oh yeah, Unless let's we could be enemies. No, no, let's do it. Okay. I forgot what, how much money I was at. Four. If you're wondering why Eric and I haven't, like, played any assets, it's because we're both skill decks. And, yeah. like, this is what we do. We are yeah. seeing it. You're I mean, I've it. played assets. I've also played assets. Yeah. All right, upkeep. I have two magnifying glasses in my hand. What more do I need? Okay. Uh, what Ooh. do I need to keep? I can get rid of you. I can get rid of you, probably. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I want to get rid of you? I have one opportunist. I can get rid of you. I want to keep you instead. All right, Eric, flip that over. Let's get out of here. As you board your ship once again, you find your crew loading barrels of trade goods, fur, or exotic spices and the like. We'll make a killing with these back on the mainland, the captain says, clapping your shoulder. Hope you found what you were looking for, too. Don't talk to us. <laughs> Where do you want to head next? Shuffle the encounter deck, uh, pile, discard into the pile. Uh, we must choose one. We cannot choose a place we've already visited. Uh, the ancient land of Minar. Um, Forbidden Lands or the Timeless Realm? Let's go to Minar. Yeah, that was the one you wanted to next. Okay, so these are going to add to the victory display. Yeah. This one's going to be removed from the game. Trip. Let's take that. Okay. Minar, Minar. 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 Okay, Minar is these scary ones. All right. 
The art's really spooky on them. The doom that came before Manarmor. Manarmor, 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 Manarmor. Man man <laughs> okay, uh, let me just check all this setup. I'm pretty sure uh, you can read that, by Thank the way. Thank you. The doom that came before. The ancient fabled land of Manar is one of the oldest regions of the Dreamlands, where wandering nomadic tribes settled st city-states that grew in size and power over untold ages, until they became the metropolises that stand today. That doesn't sound like doom. Objective, find and uncover as many signs of the gods in this region as you can. At the end of each round, if each investigator, at the end of the round, if each investigator is at the same port location, you may move to another region. Objective, if we get ten signs, we move on. Kadatharon. Sarnath. Oh yeah, the doom that came to Sarnath, that's not good. No. Nope. The ruins of Ib, that's also not good. Alright, so we're going to start in Kadatharon. Just a triple action draw, five cards, veiled. Just, just casual. Yeah. Uh, we have Sarnath, which is three victory, sorry, one victory, three uh, shroud. Cannot be flipped over investigate unless we know what happened to Ib. Uh, if you successfully investigate Sarnath by one or less, take one horror. Uh, all of them are veiled, by the way. This one is uh, after you reveal a skull or cultist token while investigating rubes, uh, runes of Ib, discard an asset you control. And we have the beings of Ib over here. Uh, Prey Investigator at Runes locations only. They're aloof and hunter with swarming player. Um, and during the enemy attack step of the enemy fades, instead of attacking its engaged investigators, Beans of Ib attacks each investigator at its location, even if it's unengaged. I don't like. Uh, why don't you resolve that? Flip that over. Oh no. It finally happened. Months have passed since you first set full forth from Ulthar. Along the way, you've seen many fabulous places and met many strange and interesting people. Some have been helpful, giving you sage advice or pointing you in the right direction. One was a bat uh, and regarded you with suspicion and wariness. Perhaps it is because you are a dreamer from the outside world, or perhaps because you are foolish and accursed enough to seek the forbidden places of the dreamland. But it is the Corsairs who truly frighten you. Throughout your travel, you spot them pursuing you time and again. Men of Lang, the inhabitants of the Dreamlands call them. Uh, Satyr-like creatures with hooves instead of feet and great curved horns protruding from their foreheads. I love them. They sail on long black galleys with black sails. You know not why they hunt for you relentlessly, and you are not keen to find out. Uh, shuffle both set-aside Corsair of Lang enemies into the encounter pile, along with the encounter discard pile. Agents of the Outer Gods. Perhaps seeking Kadath is an accursed venture after all. Even so, curiosity gnaws at your mind. What proof uh, could the resting place of the gods hold for you? If you're out of port location, resign. All right. What's your evil card? What is my evil card? Songs of the Maga Bird. Okay. Just something to talk to. Um, That's a bit annoying. Oh, no. It happened again. Okay. Magaha. All right, how do you want to do this? We can't leave this location. I mean, I'm probably going to try and blow up the Maga bird and then test against Catherine. Go for it. That sounds great. Um, so what I'll do is it's uh so I'm going to do plan of action. Um yep. So give me four, five, use my ability six. Seven, because there's it's your first action. Seven. Seven to four. Seven to four doesn't feel great. So I'm also gonna put in this persistence. Yeah, seems good. Eight to four. No more Maga bird. Maga! Throw these away. Uh, and then we're going to do the test, so we're at 6 to 5. So we're going to do... Oh, practice makes perfect. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm just logging my water. Six, seven. Eight. Oh, I got some good cards in here. Nine. For a practiced skill. Yeah, it seems good. So now you're currently at nine to five. Which is pretty much what I need. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ooh. 
Reveal their token. If this token is revealed during an investigation and the skill test fails, increase that location shroud by one. It's an elder sign? Oh, that's not gonna do anything. That's kind of funny. Yeah, you, you get it back for two reasons now. Yeah. But you also get to draw uh, two cards. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay, and I'll get this back. Oh, we should lose all our clues when it advances. Oh, fair. Yeah. And then uh, let's do it again. Heck yeah. Just copy paste. Yeah, you know what? For good measure, get Cultus into Elder Sign again, right? Yeah, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, might as well. Hey, it's still great. You also get to draw two more cards. Eyeballs. <laughs> Just the way you said that. Good. Okay. Yeah, that went great. Yeah. Would you like to fail? I would. You studied the pillars of Kadatheron for many hours, losing yourself in the vast storied histories of the dreamlands. What was first a focused search for the whereabouts of the castle of the gods soon becomes an obsession with all things inscribed upon the cylinders. Hours, days, weeks, who knows how much time you lost to your research. Though you learn much, the time you spend here is a boon to those who pursue you. You are only able to pry yourself free from the cylinders when you feel the ominous gaze of something sinister watching you from afar. Sign of the gods! Sh oh no, another Tenebrous Night Gaunt goes in. I'm stacking this deck against us. Uh, you also get a trigger uh, Virgil Gray. I think I'll heal one off myself. Oh no, it heals off him. I think I'll heal one off him and send him your way. Sounds great. Okay. Oh, that was a good turn. Okay, this is going to seem a little bit crazy what I'm about to do. I'm so ready. I'm going to move in here. And I'm going to oh, I, investigate. I made a mistake. That's what fine. happened. I should have done this because I was going to give you three bucks. Oh, go for it. Yeah, I'll gain two and you'll gain three. Sure. I always forget about those, so there's always a grid window for that. All right. I'm going to come in this unexpected courage and this um, opportunist. So I have six to the game's one. Nice. I will draw a card with my ability. Oh. Yeah, wow, double magnifying glass. Unbelievable. It, it just does so much. Yeah. You don't need anything else. I mean, you can, and you'll do great. I uh, will draw a card with the sluggy cigarette case. Uh, return this opportunist to my hand. Get rid of this. And then we'll move back. <laughs> 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 runs away. Because yeah, I had to like, I have to play a bunch of cards in my hand, but it cost me two actions to play them. So Incredible. like that was just a way to get through that. All right, upkeep. These guys are only in runes, so they're not going to come and fuck us up right now. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to discard two cards. You can go... Honestly? Okay, now we have to go here, huh? Yeah. Shoot. Well, I'm ready to help. That's sick. Okay, Bong, what do you got? What do I got? I got the night gaunt on my face. Sure. I got a Corsair of Lang on my face. Oh no. Maybe I should just evade mine? Yeah, probably. All right, here we go. The first real challenge we're facing today. Yeah. Who wants to go first? Quick question. I can't commit skill tests to your situation while I'm engaged. Oh, you can. you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, then yeah. it doesn't matter to me who goes first. Interesting. All right. I'm going to try to punch this guy. Just a straight up normal human punch. Interesting. I'm going to commit this arrogance to it because I think I can take this guy one on one. No problem. Okay. So this, uh, I don't want anything. <laughs> okay. So this, because this, uh, it subtracts from my icon and if it succeeds, it returns to my hand. Right. So I'm basically trying to waste an action to get rid of it. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to go two to two. But if I hit, I deal him one damage, and that's practically halfway there. That's practically halfway there. <laughs> one is halfway to four, right? Yeah. 
Uh, that's okay. There is no investigation. I'm not doing that, so that doesn't matter. Cool. Now uh, we're going to lose this. Sick. Okay. Feetsies. I think we try to evade him. Okay. I'm running out. I need to play this card so bad. Five, though. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could just try to shoot him twice. It's not terrible. Did I discard my gun? Or do I still... I guess I could check my hand. Okay, I guess I got another gun. Yeah, I'll shoot this. Uh, oh, this gives me plus two, too. I forgot about that. I also ignore the aloof keyword for this attack. What the fuck? Uh, maybe we should save it for the... I have another one. Okay. I just have to fire two shots to kill this guy. But you're right, I don't think I'll be able to evade him. Um, man, you know what? This is going to sound crazy. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually just going to let this guy punch me twice this turn. Because I'm going to get rid of this. I've just got an even card because I can't place odd cost cards. Okay. So he's going to punch me. We are going to shoot him once. Doing how much damage? Two. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go 7 to 2. That seems pretty good. Do you want help with this guy, or do you want help with the beings of Ib? I think I got the beings of Ib, actually. Oh, shit. No, you should save that then. Save that one, because that, yeah. that, no, that's a really good one. Because I, I have to take two shots to kill this guy, even if you give me that or not. Oh, okay. Fair point. Yeah. But that is... Actually, you know what, Eric? Fuck it. Let's do this. I'll, I'll take that. Okay. So I was at 11. I need to go to 8 to spend 3. Yep. I got a backstab, so we'll stab this guy. So I have 5 to his 2. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to play you, Randolph. I could, but I don't think I'm going to. It is really good, though. Holy shit. All right, I think I'm just gonna use this hatchet man here. Then I'm gonna draw a card with my ability. We just have to we have to commit. If we commit, we'll get cards out of this. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're six to two. Nice. Uh, this guy will die. Three damage from this. One damage from that. Hell yeah. Uh, and I succeed by enough to get that. That's a huge draw. Okay. That was me. That brick to the head really came in clutch. I mean, it was like, Winnie! Duck! Oh, but that means you can't leave. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Oh, hey. So you have four to one. Yeah. Um, I don't think I need better than that. But just in case. Sure. Yeah, just in case. Nice. Yeah. All right. So you would discover a clue, but there's none here. Mm -hmm. But this guy will go there. Oh, shoot. But I don't want to leave either. Oh, he's evaded. I didn't think about this. Oh, but he'll have to stand up first. Yes. Yeah. So I think I'll draw a card. Nice. And then I'll draw a card. Nice. All right. I'll take this guy. Go upkeep. We'll get to you, Beans of Egg. Just hold your horses. Two of nine. What do you got? <laughs> hey, that bird's back. <laughs> oh, sweet. We have no clues here. There is some Corsairs, which is okay, because we already tanked. We, we were going to tank the first one. If worst case, we can tank this yeah, one. Yeah, we can tank this one. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go first, if that's okay with you. Rock oh, it. I got that opportunist back. Nice. Alright, I'm going to commit this manual dexterity and this uh, opportunist. I'm going to use your ability to go up 9 to 1. Yeah. I'll draw a card with my ability. Uh-oh, is that an empty deck? <laughs> it is. What's amazing is that you've done that, and I'm the one getting all of the myriads. <laughs> That's Winifred, though. I'm actually going probably pretty slow for most Winifreds, too. Uh, minus three. So I will draw a card off this, draw a card off that. This will turn to my hand. I'll take one horror, which I'm going to put on this motherfucking idiot right here. 
Okay, so I can't leave this turn, but I wasn't planning on leaving this turn. Okay. Um, we do have to go worry about these ibs, but I think what we're doing right now is fine. I'm probably going to let this Night Gaunt hit me next turn to get out. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, this guy's also massive, so he's actually engaged with both of us. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So... So I have to draw two cards, and this opportunist goes back to my hand. Okay. The reason for this is that I have two cards that I really want to play. This comes back to my hand. This goes there. Draw two. Uh, it begins again. I'm going to spend six. So if I go there, they don't activate on me. No, but during the enemy attacks, they will attack everyone at this location, even if they're unengaged. But I can walk in to a clue and then leave. Yes, but don't forget about the Maga Bird. Right. Uh, I'm going to play this Randolph Carter, mm -hmm. and I'm going to play this other British Bulldog for my last two actions. I'm going to move Virgil off camera. I think he's the least important asset we have here. Okay. So Randolph Carter. Uh, actually, no, I'll move my British Bulldog off. My second one that's full. Um, Randolph Carter is after uh, a cult. A tablet is revealed during a skill test in my location. I can exhaust him to draw two cards. He also gives me plus one fist and plus one foot. Don't worry about him. He's our friend. Okay. He's not near the tip. Sure. Nothing to worry about there. And that's me. Well, I'll spend three to play a Dream Enhancing <clears throat> Serum. Always a good time. I will... Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll solve the Maga birds. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, and I'll play this other Dream Enhancing Serum to support the Maga Birds. Use my ability. So you have six to four? Uh, I should probably go up higher. I can get you seven to four. I'm unlikely to commit this. Okay, thank you. Uh, do I want to go eight to four? The skull is the big thing. There's only two tokens that'll cause yeah. you to fail. That's not terrible. I'll take that chance. Nice. You're a hero. And then... I really want to run in there and get ibbed. So I will gain a resource. Nice. Mm. This feels like a lot of bad turns. Yeah, it's our, our tempo certainly fell, but I'm, I'm I'm still pretty happy. Nice. Just in general, I'm playing a game with my friend. You yeah, know? me like, too. What's, what's yeah, there to be, what's, what's what's be upset about? Put it into play next to the agenda deck. When you initiate an investigation, you must either take one horror or your location gets two shrouds. Sick. Not a problem. Oh, shit. Night Riders. Oh. Amazing. Okay, we gotta figure this shit out. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Yes. I can dodge the Night Gaunt. You wanna dodge the Night Gaunt and get in here? Yeah. What do you think? I'll tell you what. You know what, let me go first, because I want to use your okay. boost, okay? Yeah, do it. I'm going to try to evade these guys. We love it. I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to draw a card with my ability. So we're going to go ten to five. Oh, I actually need to go nine to five. So we're going to bring this one back. I do get to draw a card still, though. So we're going to go nine to five. Maybe I'll finally lose this opportunist. We've been doing a lot of weight. I'll draw two cards. Nice. I do lose this, but I draw two cards, and then this guy is discarded. Sick. I'm going to take an additional action, because I did succeed by two. And I think I use that action to... That's yours. Oh. We don't share a discard pile? And also, they go to the bottom of your deck. Oh, these ones were committed... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did put the one on the bottom of my deck. Okay, the one okay. Yeah, no, we're good on that one. We don't share a discard pile. <laughs> Is that how this game works? I feel like God... All right, so with my bonus action, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity mm -hmm. to move into here. He is not dead. <laughs> because I think this seems actually like the way to go. I'm going to use an action. So my action number two, because mm -hmm. I have two actions left. I'm going to shoot the beans of it. Yeah. Um, if you have a brick. I don't. Okay. Just because it, it, it is a, the strange interaction we can do from a connecting location. Yeah. Yeah. I can huck that brick real far. Uh, but I can ignore the aloof keyword. 
So we're going to go five, six, seven to four. I'm going to go uh, eight, nine to four. I'm going to put three on this. I'm going to draw a card with my ability. I forgot to trigger my lucky cigarette case last turn. Nine to four. I'll trigger it this turn. Draw a card. Uh, we'll deal two damage and get rid of these two. Sick. To the bottom of your deck, and I will get six resources back. Okay, I can take an extra action. Mm -hmm. So this is action four. Four, and I have two. I have one action left after this. Um, we're gonna just switch these around, and I'm gonna shoot my gun. We have seven to four. I'm gonna watch this again. Might as well. So we're gonna go seven to four. I'm gonna go eight and nine to four. We're gonna draw a card. And then, uh, oh, this should probably be in there, huh? That's a good token. Nine to four. Nice, nice, nice. He's toast. Victory display with him. Nice. I'll gain three resources. Well, six back. So we'll go like that. This has been a pretty good turn. I'll draw a card off that manual dexterity and also because I committed to. Yes. Yes. Uh, then for my last action. Um, Remember the shroud is either three or. Yes. One and a horror. I think I'm just going to play a tw 25 automatic to discard this other uh, British Bulldog. Sick. Notably, this gun is much worse. Oh, it's fast. That's not an action. I still have an action left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we don't want to draw a card. I don't want to gain a resource. I don't want to play anything. I don't need you to pick up clues this round. Yeah. So I, and I mean, I don't want to take that horror because that's probably the path I would go. Um. I guess I'm just going to gain a resource. Actually, no, I'll draw a card because card selection is better. All right. I don't need the money. All right, Eric, go for it. Okay, um, I'm gonna walk in here. I'm gonna Dude. take the hit from the Night Gaunt, or Witten Green is. Eat it, Witten, you freaking helpful person. I'm gonna investigate. Nice, would you like to take a horror or go to three? I'll let it go up to three. Yeah, it seems pretty all right. You do have six. So I'm gonna do a deduction. Nice, so you have seven to three. Um, yeah, I really don't really need to go higher. Yeah, no, you're looking I'll use my ability, one. eight to three. Heck yeah. That's okay. You probably got more of that where that came from, right? I do. Seven to three. <laughs> I guess I didn't need to do that. Yeah, sure. Take it back. I don't need it. Nice. Two clues. Four eyes. And then let's flip the ip. Go for it. It is said that the people of Sarnath were the ones who destroyed the city of Ib thousands of years ago. From what you can gather, the inhabitants of Ib had committed no crime other than possessing a disturbing appearance and carving strange sculptures upon the gray monoliths within their city. Sarnath sucks. Yeah, we hate Sarnath. However, the retribution Sarnath faced was far greater than their own sin. Even now, long after the destruction, the destruction of Ib, creatures resembling the city inhabitants still haunt the Nameless Lake, hunting down intruders like the warriors of Sarnath who destroyed their civilization long ago. Intruders such as yourself. Uh, remember that investigators know that what happened to Ib. Nice. Damn, so we don't get even a thingy for that. No, but we got the god from this one. Yeah, that's true, but hopefully we're going to get it from this one too. Yeah, I think we will. All right, upkeep. Ooh. All right, four of nine. What do you got? What do I got? It's still the eclipse. Uh, I'm gonna say brain bad. Let's go, let's change things up. Let's brain bad. Brain bad, hopefully that doesn't come and bite us in the ass, right? Yeah. A rick to dick a 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 d
Must give, be nice. Give me that king. Oh, sick. Sick. Oh, you're standing up. You're standing up. So how do you want to do this? I think I go in there and investigate. Okay. I'll probably stay nearby you. I'll probably try to get rid of this hunt by Corsairs. Don't need to worry about it. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, I'm going to save a Eureka for you. For is that. there any downside if you fail? No. Oh, I would love a Eureka for that. Not for this first one, though. Because I think I can beat these pirates up all by myself. All by myself. I'm going to do books, so we're going to go two to four. All by myself. I guess I can't. All right, let's try to outrun them then. All right, so are you gonna meet one or just just one? Not, yeah, I only need one to be honest. Well, and then you can use my ability. Yeah. All right. Um. I'll commit this automatic and this hatchet man. I'll draw because I committed two cards. Minus three. So I had six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I will draw a card off this. And I drew a card for my ability. Yes, that's when I drew that. So this is gonna go away. I gotta look at the top three, because this one's actually strange. It's perform an investigator. Mm -hmm. Uh, for my last action, I'll move up here. Sick. Come join you in case an enemy shows up next turn. I'm gonna walk in, like I own the place. You practically do. Second action. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, ten to five. I'll take that. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, ten to five, yeah. Uh, you know what, I'll do... Nine to five? Yeah. Yeah, seems good. Oh, that sucks for the perception, too. That always sucks when that happens. Yeah. Uh, I have to successfully investigate, so you're okay. Okay, well, you know what? Now we'll do... I'm going to commit the this as well. Oh, Just thank because I'll uh, we'll discard the hand size if I don't. So that's one, two, three, four. So I'm at eight to five. Nice. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight to five. Uh, no, 10, because you have the two magnifying glasses. Yeah. Nice, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's... Oh, we need to find the last clue. Let's... I'm going to gain... Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. But I will check three cards. Nice. I'll take this one. And the other two get shuffled, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dang it, that was going to be such a good turn when I dropped both of them. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, but then we had to go upkeep. Mm -hmm. Five of nine. Ooh. 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 Okay, we're, we're looking hot. What's your evil card? I think we can get out of here this turn. Yeah. Course out of Lang! Spawn near a city or surface location? Uh, this one. Okay, that's a little bit annoying, but I also could just like tank him. Mm hmm. Another Tenebrous Night God. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go in there. Doesn't and it spawn on us? Oh, yeah, this one does. Oh, that's, I mean, that's a little bit annoying. That's fine. I'm gonna go in there and, uh,. Run interference, so you can get this clue, and then we can get out of here this turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's try to evade this guy. I'm going to commit... It's crazy. But I am going to commit this savant to this, which only gives me plus two. But I just want to, like, draw cards. So we're going to draw a card. I'm back to being... You got that sneak attack for me? I committed last turn, and that's it. I'm done. Never again. Never again. You're dodging him? I'm trying to evade him. Ooh. That's annoying. Yeah, those, uh... Those have been hurting us. I don't us. want to do this. Okay, I think we're going to go again. I'm going big. Drawing a card. 
You said four or five was good, right? Yeah. Uh, six is like where I'm usually like, that's kind of like what my low end is what I try to aim for. Okay, because I'm not sure we're doing so great on the clock. Oh, shit. Uh, so I'm gonna succeed by two, and then for after this tens for, uh, test ends, for every two points you succeeded by, you return a card committed to your hand. That's pretty solid. That's very good. All right, so this guy's evaded. Oh, the only problem is now I can't evade also that Tenebrous Night Gaunt. That's annoying. But I'm only gonna hit for two and one, that's okay. You're gonna get hit by the Night Gaunt too, but that's all right. Yeah. All right, go for it, get that clue. Okay, um, how many actions do I need? Because I might risk drawing a card. Because then I do a test. If you fail the second one, we're stuck. Yeah, that's true. So I would like go first. We'll commit this instead of playing I it. I mean, you are six to three without that. If you if you wanted to keep it. Nah. Okay. Eight to three. Nice. Could have done it. Let's flip that thing. Although this city-state was founded years ago and stood for over a thousand years, it is no more. The tales tell of a single night in which Sarnath fell. Now very little remains. Only a vast march where the city once stood tall and proud. Among the ruins you find no standing buildings but, mar but rubble of marble brick and chalcedony. But as soon as you approach the remains, lightning splits the sky. There is a blinding flash, and as you blink your eyes, everything changes. Where before no, study, no city stood, now there looms a ghostly image of Sarnath, as it once was. Near the lake where the lightning struck, you find a curious and ancient idol of green stone. It is coated with seaweed and chisel in the likeness of a great water lizard. One of the gods of this realm, perhaps? Sign of the gods. I'll heal Virgil and throw him back your way. Thank you. Then I'm going to go here. Uh, would you like to try to evade this guy? This is at the end of the round. Uh, yeah, I think I'll try to evade. Oh, right. And when I was here... Want to crack the case? Yeah. So you get three. To what end, I don't know. Um, so that's... That was one action, two action... Yeah, third action. I'll try two to, to one! Evade. You know I got this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enemy phase. I get hit for two. Mm -hmm. Two meat. You get hit for one meat and one horror, and I also get hit for a horror. Bye, winning. Everybody's favorite soak. And then we gotta go upkeep. We really are getting rich. Yeah. I mean, we're skill decks, right? Most yeah. of our cards we don't have to pay for. All right, would you like to advance? I would. Go for it. Your options in this region exhaust you. You make your way back to your ship. The captain orders the crew to get ready to leave the port. I uh, wasn't sure if you'd be back in time, but here you are, the captain says with a grin. I, this is a different captain each time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time. Well, where to? Search the encounter deck, discard pile, and all play areas for the beings of Ip enemy and remove it from the game. Veskers must decide. Choose one. You cannot choose a place you've already visited. If you've already visited each of the listed areas, proceed to R1. So, we can either go to Oriab, which we've already done, the Forbidden Lands, or the Timeless Realm. Timeless Realm? It's your call. Probably the safest. Let's do that one. All right. Timeless Realm, give me that. All right, so these guys are gonna spawn on us. Spawn, put into play at any city location. Okay. Um, I think this one is the Timeless Realm, so you can read that. The King's Decree. Much of the Vale, much of the Valley Realm of Uth Nagari, Nargai, ruled by the dreamer Curinus, eludes the grasp of time. Nothing here ages or falls into disrepair. It is a realm of wonders and marvels. How many years might pass before you even noticed? Objective, find and uncover as many signs of the gods in this region as you can. At the end of each round, uh, round if each investigator is at the same port location, you may move to another region by advancing this act. We might just peace, who knows. Alright. So we can play it Celeface. Yeah. Serenium. Mm-hmm. So this one's just veiled. This one's this just cost you to enter or leave Serenium. You must choose and discard a card from your hand. Okay, interesting. And then we have Hazeth Clegg, which is just four veiled. 
Interesting. We're going to start here. Um, these guys can spawn at a city location. I think I'm going to spawn them both up here. Yeah. Uh, and then we also get a priest of a thousand maths here. So these guys are just two, two, twos. But while they have uh, two or more signs of the gods uncovered, he gets plus one fight and plus one evade. So he's a three, two, three. And while we have four or more, he gets plus two health. So he's a three, four, three. Wow. He's a little big boy. Oh, and this guy's just dead. He's a little big boy. All right, six of nine. It's getting tight. All right, well, luckily we have two port locations that we can resign at if need be. Yeah. But let's just try to get as much victory and maybe another sign of gods or two if we can. I like this one swooping in and this one's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I think I'm going to go up there. Yeah. I'm going to try and clear... Celephice. Nice. I assume there's one there. There might be. Hopefully. Uh, why don't you start us off with your evil card? There's an evil in Corsairs. Okay, that actually is not going to be a problem. No. Hmm. It's that, back. That is. All right, why don't you start us off? I'm just going to do pure checks. Okay. I probably need to get rid of this guy for you. Oh, I'll draw two cards. Do it. I'll gain one of my clues. You want to do, do a light of exhaustion? Uh, I'm going to flip it. Nice, go for it. Heal us. Randolph stops in one of the streets of Celephus to meet with the old chief of the city's cats. And you recall that your companion once told you that Ulthar is not the only city of the dreamlands in which these curious creatures dwell. The cat informs Randolph that he can find his old friend. And you are surprised when your companion leads you to a rose crystal palace in the center of the city. Here you meet King Curranus, who rules this region. When you tell Curranus about your quest, he indicates that you may find what you are looking for in the great temple that lies in the center of Hazeth Clegg, a city beyond his timeless realm. But this advice comes with a warning. Once you enter the, te uh, the temple of unattainable desires, you might never leave. Remember that you beseeched the king. Okay. Uh, shuffle one set aside copy of Tenebrous Night Gone into the encounter deck. There's only Excellent. Two. Okay, uh, do you want to go in here then? Instead, uh, is it, I don't think it gave us a sign of the gods. This one didn't. Oh, what a bitch. I mean, like, we could go in here. We could. And just, like... That might be better than these two, although this is Hunter, so he's going to chase yeah, us. Yeah, but I, we can get him by then. Do you try... I can deal with this guy. So if I walk in there... Yeah, you should be fine. Okay. Do and you, then he'll come to me. You don't have a brick, right? I do. You do? Okay. Priest of a thousand right. masks. We got one shot at this because I have to do two actions to do this, but we're going to try to backstab this guy. All right, so I have five to three. I'm going to commit this opportunist and this anything you can do. Okay, one second. One second, Eric. Calculating. All right, perfect. Actually, you know what? This opportunist might not be committed to this. Okay, if all goes according to plan, this is what we came for. This is what dreams are made of. What are you doing? Do you want some more? Oh, you can only commit one card. But that's okay. We're gonna uh, we're gonna pass this test. Okay. And that's a just and guarantee. Whoa. All right, so I have this thing. We're um, five, two, three. I'm going to commit two three aces. And then I'm going to commit daredevil. Daredevil. Three aces. <laughs> uh, we're playing taboo with this group too, I think. I think this one is both taboo, so this is going to remove itself from the game, but I, it's going to automatically see we're going to kill that guy. Nice. I'm going to draw three cards and gain three resources. So you have to buy them all again? No, no, they're just uh, removed from the game. They're not, oh, okay. they're not exiled. You know, I was considering getting rid of those long shots, and now I don't think I will. No, they're great. They help me too, because they, they make the... Plus the three damage, really nice. Yeah, they round that out really nicely. All right, this guy's going to move here. Yeah. And then we get to go upkeep. 
I also get my three resources. I have so much money, Justin. You do. Have, you should buy a higher education. I should. I made a mistake. I mean, like, you're out of up. Oh, no. I made, I made a mistake. <laughs> it's very high. Oh, this guy's gone. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Okay, I have to draw four cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to discard two cards. All right, seven of nine. What's your evil card? Priest of a thousand masks. Hmm, Night Riders. Oh, okay. Things are looking bad for us. Nah, things are golden. I'll go first. Thank you. Uh, we're going to evade these Night Riders, but I'm going to do it better because anything you can do, but better is better. Me. But you. Uh, I'll draw a card because of my ability, and then I will go. I have like a million. Um, Did you take your one damage for reshuffling your. My horror? Yeah, I put it on Randolph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, tap. Oh. That's the second time I've had that today. That really sucks. That quick thinking was important. Okay. I'm not going to die before we lose, is what's in, what's kind of the case here. All right, let's try to evade these guys again. I have an unexpected courage. I'm going to use your ability Yep. Um, to make this opportunist, so we're going to go 10 to 5. Mm -hmm. Draw a card with my ability. Okay. I'll draw two cards, and this guy will be defeated. Those feet. This is going to come back to my hand, and I'll draw a card with this. <laughs> draw a lot of fucking cards, man. I'll take that guy, so oh, you can you. do your job, and I'll do mine. Okay. Which is hold a million cards in my hand. On my turn, yep. I'm going to draw a card. Nice. Dang it. That does not help me. <clears throat> okay, uh, fucking six to four. Six to four. Oh! 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 Two magnifying glasses! That's all you need. Deep within the rundown city of Hazeth Clegg, beneath the street of the Pantheon lies the Temple of Unattainable Desires. It is a grand temple of onyx, its iron gate fashioned to look like a mass of twisted and interminable serpents with amethyst eyes. This is my un unspeakable desires, true. Lanterns cast a baleful red glow at the entrance. You shudder at the thought of what profane rituals might transpire within its unhallowed halls, and yet your gut tells you this awful place may hold the answers you seek. Are you kidding me? Uh, veiled. You cannot enter unless someone has beseeched the king. Alright, so we have to decide, do we want to try for this victory? Because if I don't think we can get it, or we could just, like, start making our way out. I think we gotta make our way downtown. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Um, enemy phase. Come to me. I'll take two horror. And one meat. And I'm all ready. I'm sorry, Justin. It's okay. It's okay. It's the blind play, right? Those fall under different purview. One. I have so much money. I'll help you evade one of them. No, I think I'm just going to move and resign. Oh, okay. Because they, they probably won't kill me. Okay. Upkeep. Sorry, evil card goes to you. Mm, that's a bit annoying. You got a MAGA bird we got to get through. Okay. Okay, well, to deal with the MAGA birds... Nice, because you need four icons, right? Six. Six. You have five. Yeah. So you need one more. 
Perfect. That's great. Actually, persistence seems really good for the king in yellow. Yeah. Just hold them in there. It's not like they're not in your hand. Yeah, exactly. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Six to... So you have uh, ten to four. Nice. Then you can move in here and resign if you wanted. I do. All right. I will also move in and resign. I They don't kill me. I can take two more meat and one more horror. No problem. Okay. And we'll resign. Okay. Not our best. That's okay. We had fun. I think it went yeah. really well. I think the just that the two turns in Ib, Ib land kind yeah. of... Uh, we just got locked down by the yeah, Zygons. Just slowed us down. All right. You have ventured far and wide from the quaint cobble village of the Kingdom of Sky to the wondrous lands you could never imagine in a hundred years. You learned much of the dreamlands and of the gods who dwell atop unknown Kadath. Though you are closer to your goal, you still don't know its precise, lo precise location. In the meantime, your quest grows deadlier with each passing day. No matter where you go, foul, nightmarish creatures pursue you across land and sea. Winged beasts with no faces, horned corsairs wielding razor-sharp cutlasses and commanding great black galleys, the agents of your demise bear many shapes. You decide to return to your ship, safe, the, uh, safe from the many dangers of the dreamlands, or so you thought. Unfortunately, your ship is not safe, is no safe haven. When you return, the crew and captain are nowhere to be found. There are no signs of struggle, but Virgil, who returned to the ship earlier to prepare for the next departure, is also missing. I fear the worst, Randolph mourns. If those fiendish corsairs capture them and they are in dire trouble, they are agents of the other gods from the outside, whose soul and messenger is the crawling chaos. Get this, Eric, near Lathotep. I never saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the mere utterance of the name causes you to shudder, though you do not know why. You ask where they might have been taken, as if discussing any other port of call. He replies, the beasts who command their black galleys sail from the moon. If we are to rescue Virgil and our other companions, that is where we must go. We have Victory X, which is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have collected four signs of the gods as evidence of Kadath. Virgil was captured, but Randolph eluded capture. And with that, that is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for that. We're going to be going up for next week. We'll have a thousand shapes of horror, and we're going to see how Charlie Kane and Vincent Lee handle that scenario. So we'll see you all then. But in the meantime, have a good one. Thank you for all the patrons for supporting the channel. Have a good one. And as always, a GG's.